title, now in a brand new pack. Wow, such an inspirational story of a man living with such a serious, serious condition. Really brings a lump to your throat. And there are so many out there living with MND, and it is vitally important to create awareness around this condition. Now, famous author and physicist Stephen Hawking suffers from it, as well as uh, late actor David Niven, he also suffered from that. Now, Andrea Duplessis from Vital joins us this morning to talk a bit about MND and also what role nutrition can play in reducing the risk of MND. Andrea, good morning. Hi, good Welcome morning. to Treso. Wow. Thank you. What an inspirational story from Ralph. Yes. Unbelievable. Really brought a lump to my throat this morning. So Absolutely. We know now that there's, there's, there's no cure mm. to, to um, motor neuron disease. But what, what role can nutrition play in helping, you know, just around trying to keep the cells healthy? Is there anything that you can oh, do? Oh, yes. Um, you know, if you look at the nervous system, um, as any other part of your body, it needs certain nutrients to function optimally. Um, and it comes as no surprise that the omega-3 and 6 fatty acids play a role there mm. because they are healthy fats that are built into our nerve cells. So mm. if we look at foods we need to eat to optimize our intake of those um, sort of nerve feeding nutrients, mm. it's um, avocado, mm. so that you can have with some corn cakes or rice cakes. Yeah. Um, there's the famous salmon because that's rich in omega-3 fatty acids. And those um, healthy oils are actually, like I said, built into the nerve cells to help maintain yes. the health of your nerve cells. Um, eggs are also good. They contain lecithin, which is another component of your nerve cells. And um, obviously for these um, healthy fats, you also get them in supplement form. So Vital makes an omega-3 and 6 right. um, supplement that has a combination of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And I see your sesame seeds, your nuts, and all of that. As you yes. say, the healthy oils are obviously the very important ones to to. I almost forgot about that. Walnuts are ah. particularly rich in omega-3 fatty acids. So yes. that's also something to put on your shopping list. All right. Yes. In terms of daily doses, I mean, how much should you be getting in? Well, if you look at omega-3 fatty acids, they always say that 150 grams of fish three times a week. Mm. And that's quite a lot. I mean, if I look at this portion here, it looks like it could be 80 to 100 grams. Mm. Um, so most people don't eat fish that often. And that's where we rely on nutritional supplements just to help optimize our intake. Mm. It, it makes sense to have a variety of foods in your diet. Um, oily fish in particular, also avocado, nuts and seeds. Mm. And that covers quite a wide spectrum, not only of omega fatty acids, but also other vitamins. And if you look at the muesli and the yogurt here, yes. a particularly good source of B vitamins and zinc. Yeah. And those nutrients are also important for the healthy functioning mm. of your nerves. So like we said, it's not going to cure any yeah. disease, but looking at the maintenance of healthy nerve cells, yes. these foods are really important. Right. So it's both for healthy people. So people that, that, that do suffer from the disease MND, I mean, would you, would you recommend them still incorporating this into their diet? Definitely. And obviously depending on their ability to eat, um, mm. because that may also be compromised with difficulty swallowing, um, healthy foods as, as far as you can go with that and also nutritional supplements um, and obviously depending on whether a person can chew and swallow if they can't there are specialized formulas that they can take, obviously, yeah. that are um, designed with all these nutrients. All right. Yes. So, so just for the people that missed um, Ralph's discussion on motor neuron disease, yes. it is World Motor Neuron Disease Awareness Day today. Mm -hmm. What are what 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 is MND exactly? What are well, some of the signs and symptoms? Yes. Um, well, the, the disease itself um, results from a degeneration of the motor neurons. And those are the nerves that actually control voluntary muscle um, action. Mm. So um, typically the beginning signs of that would be difficulty in speaking, swallowing. Um, Ralph mentioned he couldn't move his arms. Mm. So obviously that's something abnormal and you would definitely need to go to a doctor for a proper diagnosis. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, so, so you would just suggest for, for healthy people and your MND, you know, people that suffer from MD, get these foods in, get your vitamins as well, all available there yes. from Vital. Yes. And they can also ask you on your Facebook page, Andrea Debussy, right. Vital we, Expert. We get so many interesting questions and it actually gives me ideas for discussion for topics on Expresso. Yeah. And um, so Andrea Duplessis, Vital Expert, is where they can go um, nice. on Facebook. And they've also been sharing lots of interesting recipes. Very nice. So that's, that's very welcome. Now, I love the recipes <laughs> that you've been cooking up here. All right, thank you so much, Andrea. Okay. Now, on a lighter note, how's your golf skills? My golf skills, you know, yeah. um, I would say on a scale from zero to 10, it's yeah. close to zero, I, really? I would say. How, yes. how would you hold a golf club? Show me. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? We'll find out straight <laughs> after the break. Stay tuned. We continue with our putt putt challenge, and Andrea Duplessis is going to see if she can get a hole in one. Vital, now in a brand new pack. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.